Super alloys, the building blocks of today's high-tech world. Super alloys are used in many common day technologies, as well as in some of the world's most advanced applications. Super alloys are made by combining metals into alloys that are remarkably strong, resistant to corrosion, and able to endure harsh temperature extremes. Nebraska is home to three specialty metals that make super alloys. Niobium, scandium, and titanium. Niobium is an extraordinarily powerful steel additive. It helps make our cars and trucks stronger, lighter, safer, and more fuel efficient. It goes in aircraft engines and power generation turbines. It enables stronger and longer lasting bridges, buildings, and other large steel structures. It's also key to many defense technologies. In the air, on the ground and at sea. Scandium is another powerful super alloy metal. When combined with aluminum, it makes a high performance alloy that is remarkably strong and able to be reliably welded. That makes scandium highly valuable to aerospace and other applications. Scandium also is critical to solid oxide fuel cells and environmentally preferred clean energy technology. Titanium is a super alloy metal that is used in many industries, from aerospace, to medical devices, to paints and pigments, and to the protective armor used by the men and women of the armed services. Super alloys made from niobium, scandium, and titanium are the DNA of today's fast-paced, ever-changing, and high-tech economy. Today, the U.S. must import 100% of the niobium and scandium it needs, and more than 90% of its titanium mineral concentrates. But that may soon change when Niocorp's Elk Creek Super Alloy Materials Project in southeast Nebraska comes online. Located in America's heartland, about four miles west-southwest of Elk Creek, Nebraska, and beginning about 600 feet beneath the surface, is the Elk Creek ore body. A very large and unique resource, this ore body contains large areas enriched in niobium, shown here in purple. These zones are expected to allow Niocorp to produce an average of about 7,000 metric tons per year of niobium product over 32 years. Here you can see Niocorp's plans for extracting this niobium through its underground mine. Visible are the underground mine shaft, ventilation rays, mining blocks, and the horizontal spiral access ramp. The scandium bearing zones in this ore body are shown here in green. They are expected to produce about 103 metric tons per year of scandium product. How much scandium is that? Between five and 10 times more than all of the scandium made in the world today. That's why when the Elk Creek mine is in operation, it will turn Nebraska into a global scandium superpower. In order to extract these super alloy metals, Niocorp plans to construct a processing facility on the surface. Ore is first reduced in size in the mineral processing facility from pieces the size of softballs down to particles about the size of grains of sand. The material then goes to the hydrometallurgical facility where niobium, scandium, and titanium are separated and purified. Water and chemical reagents are recycled as much as possible in this process. That helps to cut costs and reduce environmental impacts. Niobium undergoes further processing in the pyrometallurgical facility where it is converted to the commercial product ferroniobium by adding iron, aluminum, and some other materials. What will the Elk Creek facility mean economically to the state of Nebraska? Well, first of all, a lot of new jobs. More than 1,200 construction and contract workers will be hired at the peak of construction. Once operational, the facility will employ about 460 full-time workers. Moreover, 
an estimated 1,000 additional jobs are expected to be created throughout the economy as a result of the plant's operation. Over its operational life, the Elk Creek facility will inject several billion dollars into the Nebraska economy. More than one billion dollars is required to build the plant, and the majority of that will be spent in Nebraska. About $167 million will be spent annually to operate the facility, including about $39 million per year in payroll to employees. State and local units of government will benefit as well from significant new tax revenue generated by income, sales, property, and other taxes paid both by the company and its employees. The Elk Creek facility will be a major engine of job creation and economic opportunity for Nebraska. It will put Nebraska on the map as a global leader in the production of these super alloy metals. And it will drive domestic production of critical and strategic materials that America needs to stay safe and secure. Thanks for listening.